read that you'd want to recommend to our book-loving audience out there? So when I was a 26-year-old arriving in New York, 26-year-old 26 arriving in New York, 27 years arriving in New York, uh, 26, I think, arriving in New York, and I met um, Philip Berry, who was a vice president, first the highest-ranking black man at uh, Colgate Palmolive. He mm. was a vice president, he was 43 years old. And, uh, and he took a, took a liking to me uh, as a, somebody he can mentor, I guess, in mm. a way. Mm. And uh, he took me out to bookshops, and um, and he it bought me uh, several books. You know, the Rashad of the Earth, uh, the Richest Man in Babylon, uh, and, um, and 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 um, and he says, and and you know, and I remember um, uh, uh, saying that he says, you must read these things. Just read, you mm, know, mm, mm. Um, it's important for you, uh, you know, Fanon, and then um, uh, Richard of the Earth, Richard of the Earth, yeah. and then, um, but mostly uh, the Richest Man in Babylon, which is um, uh, 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 the one thing I take out of that book is um, you need to invest in your passions, uh, which is to me the most important mm. thing. Is um, you need to reward yourself. You need to pay to, yourself. You need to pay yourself first every time, and then you need to invest mm. uh, in your passions. And that's why, for example, I, in, as part of my philosophy, I don't do things that I'm not passionate mm. about. I don't do things that I don't understand. Mm. I only do things so because true wealth. Is not measured in uh, in rents and silvers. Yeah. True wealth is measured for me in happiness mm. and and things. So that book is interesting for that. But and th but that's a book from 1926. Mm. Remember? Well, I've, I've, <laughs> I've read it a, and I'm rereading it. It's a, it's a great it's, book. It's a, yeah. uh, so so Philip was uh, in, instrumental in in that, and I didn't know why he gave it to me, but then yeah. he said I must read that. Mm. Uh, and then but but much later, uh, probably 90s, 96, 94, um, I watched the movie actually before I read the book, mm -hmm. which is Tuesdays with Maury. Mm. And to the, you know, it was a relationship between um, uh, Mitch Albom, uh, Mitch Albom and, uh, and his professor who was now dying. Right. Uh, and, uh, and he writes about these 14 weeks uh, that he visited him, the 14 weeks before he died, every, every week, every Tuesday, and met with him. And, you know, and uh, when he sums it... What, and, what is the book called? Um, Tuesdays with Maury. Tuesdays with Maury. Yeah, Tuesdays okay. with Maury. Mm. And, I mean, perhaps one could... Uh, 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 pull uh, three things out of it mm. because how rich it, um, how uh, uh, Mitch explains uh, that uh, first for an accomplished professor which Mori used to be mm. uh, but is now old and living alone and all those um, and he says he realized how much he craves for for human contact mm. uh, how you know um, when he says help me here it's more about uh, how we need mm. how we all need somebody or we need or rather we need people in our lives we need we need family. Mm -hmm. uh, so to me, it's, uh, it, uh, it's an important thing. But also, um, um, uh, Mori taught him as well about uh, about forgiveness. Right. Uh, you know, because um, Mitch then writes uh, in the book that, you know, and he tells a story later, that, you know, at that stage, I did not have a good relationship with my brother, all those. I didn't realize that I needed to uh, find for, uh, to, 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 to get, for, uh, to, for, to forgive him. And then, of course, uh, I think the, the, the final part of that, uh, it's about fulfillment. Mm -hmm. uh, so the common theme, uh, the common thing for, theme for me around uh, when, when, I, when I look at things is, is, is how those books uh, uh, fulfill me. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but I guess for, as an Africanist, as a pan-Africanist, um, uh, multiple, I mean, we don't write much about our leaders, mm. uh, but Kwame Nkrumah, at least, there was a there was an autobiography about him, which I gave mine to to KK, then I had to go buy another one again next time I went there. Right. Because uh, quite interesting, I mean, he was a, he says, oh, can I give you this one? So, and um, and um, and uh, the, the beauty about the story of Kwame, and the, and, and when you go through uh, that, is, uh, to me, it's, um, it's the, um, um, the humanity or the frailty of humans, so, mm. uh, and the fact that we are not all perfect. Uh, I, mean, I mean, here's a man who fought for the ultimate good for the continent. Mm. I was a defining mm. visionary. Look of, how it all of, ended. Of, of, of Pan Africanism. Mm. Uh, but there's a man who became a dictator yeah. himself, yeah. right? And a man then who was then, um, uh, who, who was um, um, dethroned while he was mm. out on, 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 on holiday. But I think uh, if there's something. I do appreciate about that book, about, I appreciate about, about Kwame certainly, uh, is a clear vision for the continent. Mm. Uh, but also that we are citizens of Africa. Because while he was a president yeah. of Ghana, and uh, 
president of Guinea. Mm. Uh, so, so and, and, and when I look at how my travels are and how I define myself, I uh, always tell people, I said, listen, I've got a South African passport, mm. but I'm not a South African. I'm an African. I'm an African, mm. and I am home wherever I lay my head wow. in the continent. And people like Kwame, make you believe in that. It's, it, can, because, it can happen. Be, because because uh, you, you remember uh, when he and many others were fighting for Africa, he says the continent will not be free unless mm. every single ah, one of us, uh, none of us, in, none of us will be free if mm. all of us are not free. Oh, Terry, very important books those. I've not read the, the Nkwame Krumah one, so I'll make a point of yeah. getting. You are a treasure to the continent. Uh, you are an asset to the continent. I think uh, you you said when we started that this is a, a thought provoking. You you've put out a, a number of issues that we ought to engage with as Africans.